guys! In the last part, we did stuff. And... Just at the end of last part, he caught a shinx. And in this part, we're just gonna continue. We're gonna fight that guy with the cricket heart. That's right. The guy with the cricket heart. Oh, great. Well, I thought I was gonna get away with it, unfortunately. And Starly in the way. Go, oh, Shinx! I was gonna train up the Shinx, because unfortunately Shinx doesn't have any experience. My sister says hi. Now, as you can see, there's a Shinx. Now, I'm training him. Lego on my desk. <laughs> what are you doing with that hair on your head? No, not growl! Why is my mouse turn or something? What? What? It's always a critical. I can't even deal that much damage. Look at that. Oh. Okay. And there goes my sister. Tackle. Reminds me of a. S oh gosh, what is he? Thought they gave him the quick claw. What? 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 It looked like he was eating a berry. What? What the heck? Did he just eat the quick claw? It said nothing. I don't even know what. What is it? Two criticals. Jeez. Jeez. Jeez! This freaking Starly is taking out so much of my health, it's not it's not funny. Jeez. Okay, the guy with the let's use let's use Vid off to take him out. Okay, so So first of all we've got Shanks just getting a bit of experience. Hopefully we can get Bit off to take out Bit so that So that um Turbo Boy die. Oh Shanks! Yeah, Shanks game like half this experience bar. Hopefully when we get the experience here, it'll be a bit better. Okay, so Bidoff is one level below, that shouldn't be too bad because Kreetar is a weakling. Even if he killed me in one go last time. Uh, so you, he knows Growl, that's gonna be annoying. How many times has Growl been annoying? So anyway, yeah. Tackle! Yeah, that barely did anything. Stop using Growl! Stop using Growl! Gosh, I hate Growl! I hate it so much! I just want something super effective, but unfortunately right now, unless if you use a Fire-type Pokemon... Oh gosh, he's using Bite, he's using Bite, he's using Bite! Quick, Growl, Growl! Growl! I think Growl actually plays the Pokemon's Cry backwards. Oh no. Six! It did six on Bidoff! And it, and it did 30 on Turtwig last time. What the heck? What is wrong with this game? Jeez! Like, roll that footage. Seriously, that's, that is just crazy. Please stop using Growl. Please stop using Growl. Please stop using Growl. Great, he's using Bite again. What that means. Dude, I, I can't even deal any damage on him now. I don't think it's May Kill. He did two damage. He did two damage. I can't. I'm just gonna. S okay, come on, let's tackle. Oh, he's using light again. It's gonna help him this time. 
No, seriously, it's been five minutes. I've gone past. Uh, this is the second wild poke. This, oh, gosh, this guy's not wild. This is the second Pokemon I've fought this part. We're already past five minutes. Stop missing! Just hit him! Just hit him! Jeez! Jeez, how much are you taking? You're taking so long! Bit off! Bit off! Jeez! Just hit him! goes past uh, if you've been use growl on a few more times uh, a critical actually ignores any status any changes to your stats so so for yeah oh my gosh oh you made me scream now my armpits are itchy oh so shake this level four that's sweet middle is Taking forever. And after six minutes, we finally got past that cricket tot. Yeah! Now we got the next trainer. I found a trainer while looking for cert. Oh. So this is the next trainer. This is Caitlyn. Now some people are going to skip out all the Pokemon because they've got all the trainers. I'm like, oh, they're not necessary. I'm going to show them because may as well. Anyway, so we got Shinx actually. Let's see how Shinx does. Oh, that's, that's quite bad, but then again, Shinx is, Shinx is a good Pokemon. About the same. About the same. We'll see, we'll see who wins. About half. I need a match. I think I can defeat him next turn. Or this turn. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna defeat him. But no, you had to be there. Oh, great. Okay, get him bit off. Bit off, get the bit off. The attack of the foe's bit off missed. Yeah, that's a bit exaggerated. Anyway, bit off attack. Foe's bit off fainted. Shanks is now level 5, that's sweet. And Shanks learned Leah. That's cool. Bit off, you're gonna take a while anyway. Starly. Yeah, let's see how bit off does against the Starly. Two levels above, we'll see how he goes. Wow, three damage. Whoa! That was a good one. Just don't use Growl. Just don't use Growl, Starly. Oh, you had to, didn't you? Freaking Growl! It's like my most most annoying move in the game past Tail Whip, which unfortunately we've, we've never seen Tail Whip. Tail Whip used to be the most annoying one because a lot of Pokemon in the first generation used to learn it, I think. Or maybe th uh, third generation, maybe. Uh, but in this generation, no, no Tail Whip at all. It's all Leer and stuff. Anyway, we also got Beaudu. Beaudu is a new Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Uh, Beaudu, um, pretty cool Pokemon. Learns a bunch of moves when uh, Beauty evolves into Roselia, and he has some pretty good special attack, uh, but the problem is one thing, he doesn't really learn many moves, uh, through leveling as Beauty. he evolves only at daytime, uh, yeah, uh, and he doesn't, when he's fully evolved as Roserade, he doesn't learn anything, and he's pretty average right now, so unfortunately, he's a bit of a weird kind of Pokemon, he's, he's one to keep, but not one to have right now. That's a bit of a weird statement. It, it, it's someone who will come a bit better later. So anyway, bit off is level seven. Good on your bit off. You finished so soon, yeah. Sure. Uh so anyway, yeah. Let's continue to this guy.
Anyway, this guy is Young Sir Sebastian. He also has a new Pokemon. It's Matchup! So anyway, Matchup is Fighting type, and as you can tell, that's probably not good for Biddle. Actually, you may not be able to tell, but for those who can't tell, yes, Matchup is not good for Biddle. So let's send out Biddle. Because that's a smart thing to do. I, I, I sense that he's about to do something, isn't he? Anyway, uh, matchup is... You, can, you get him in the next route, I think. Route 204, which unfortunately is a bit, a bit away. Yep. Saw it coming. <laughs> Low kick is one of the strongest moves in, this, in the early section. I don't know why they put matchup here. He's strong ass. Anyway, also, Matrop is a really good physical fighter, and he learns some pretty good moves, but he's a bit on the slow side, and he also kind of requires a trait in order to become a champ in this fully evolved form. He evolves, uh, at, I, I forgot what level, uh, into, into Machoke, but right now, he's Machoke. Anyway, that is Absorb in action! Oh no, he's giving me the low kick. So anyway, I'm gonna use Absorb, because I'll get past, because he's... Because it's going to be a bit weak in the special stats book. So yeah. Yeah, and plus it's going to heal any of his low kicks, which unfortunately is way too many. Ah, there we go. Making progress. Absorb. Yeah. The first switch up. And his energy drain. Jinx gained level 55 experience. Jinx is level 6. Jinx didn't get any defense stats. Dirtwig also gained experience, but that doesn't really matter. I guess it means I'm not ready for the gym challenge yet. Yeah, just a bit. Uh, so anyway, yeah, um, I'm gonna... I want to avoid this person, but... Nah, nah, we're gonna have to fight her, you know. I got a Nifty Keen gym badge from the gym leader. Now here's the question, if you beat the gym leader in all Burst City, however you say that, how come you have two Pokemon, both of which are level 5? How did you beat the gym leader with two level 5 Pokemon? Especially Starly, because the gym leader's rock type, and rock is super effective against flying. Like, I'm just gonna scan through my notes a bit. Uh, the gym leader... Level 12 and two level 12s and a level 14, all a rock type. How did you cut through with a level 5 Starly? Wait, I realize I'm just fighting with Shinx now. Why? Where am I going? If I want to fight with Shinx, I should probably use a potion, so we're gonna switch back out the turn to me. Whoa! Now here's one thing, uh, in the options, you have a battle set thing, and you can change your battle type from shift and set. Basically what that means is that if it's on shift, it will tell you what the next Pokemon will be when they're about to switch it out, and that will allow you to change your Pokemon just before as well. Uh, if it's on set, it will just instantly send out the next Pokemon. Uh, you know, save time there, but like, you don't, you, you don't get to miss, uh, send out a Pokemon, uh, straight away, so... Let's not fight, let's just have the Shinx out, just so we can gain experience. Because Shinx is going to be the better fighter, I just need Biddle to evolve, that's the thing. No! No, I attack! No! Anyway, let's tackle! <laughs> Why? Crown! What, what are you using? What item are you using, Turtwig? Shanks is level 7, last metal line is defeated! Oh, I lost that one. 
Yeah, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go head back to the Pokemon Center and I'll be back next part where we're gonna continue into Orber Gate and then eventually into Orber City. Okay, see you guys.